Okay, videos like this are here to help those of you who don't do anything on your bike yourself, but you wanna save some money. And a task like this really is easy. But if you've got a bike that you bought from a dealer and it's under warranty, and it strikes the fear of God into some people that they're gonna naff it up, getting bigger problems and end up with an even bigger bill. And if you look at the bill to replace a clutch cable, it can get right out of hand, it clearly can. A cable itself, probably worth about eight pounds. You buy a Slinky Glide from Wimoto for about eight quid, but if you go to your main dealer, because they're the people you want to trust, or they're the people you got the bike from, well, they're going to charge you for a genuine OEM cable. They're not going to put an aftermarket one on, they're only going to supply one of theirs. So a brand new OEM cable for this Triumph is £36. Then you're going to look at labour. What are they going to charge you? Half an hour, because it only takes about 20 minutes. So half an hour's labour. What's that, £50 in a main dealership? Then you add VAT to that collective pair, you've got an over £100 bill to replace an £8 cable. No wonder people get scared. So this video hopefully can help you replace one. So I'll show you first of all, how to release it, stick a new one on, and then how to adjust it and set it up so it works properly. I'll show you. Right, the first task is to take all the adjustment out of the cable. When you adjust them so that the clutch works correctly, you've got an adjuster top and bottom, you just got to collapse all that adjustment out. And on the bottom, that involves two little lock nuts, one there, on the front and then just screw them out of the way but take all that adjustment out completely all the way back so that can go forward and relax then come up to the top we've got this little adjuster wheel for adjustment on the go and just back that off all the way back out of the way and screw that all the way in to the clevis clamp so there's no thread showing so you've got all that slack there in the case of this bike we've got this little cover little dress cover so you need a two and a half mil allen key and just back out the little grub screws and it simply lifts clean off out of the way. And that will then show you this, which is your standard factory clamp at the end. And all we've got to do with that is push it forward and lift the little hammer out of the end, like that. And that can just rest there quite fine. And then we take the gator off the end. What we've got there is the cable ready to come out of the clamp. Just need to take little gator off the end. I think they're adjusting that off. And take a nut off the end. And just pull the cable out of that clamp. And there it is, free to go. Right, next thing is to release the cable from the top. And it's ever so easy. You've got your cable here with all of that slack collapsed out of it. But how to get that out of there? Ever so easy, turn the little wheels around so that the two slots in them like that align and the cable can just come straight out then bring it round and if we look closely up and under here that comes round until the cable lines up with the down slot and then you can wiggle it out of the lever just like that job done and now our cable is completely free and can be withdrawn from the motorcycle. But before you do that, it's important to take note of the routing of the cable. Where does it go? Often it disappears down behind the headlight, but it might have a specific little clip that it sits in down there, or it might go one side of a fork leg or the other. And there's probably no information about exactly where to route the cable in your service manual. So take a note of it before you take it out. Have a look. Oh yeah, right, it goes that way then withdraw it. Then when you put the new one in, you put it in exactly the same space. Because if you route your cable incorrectly and it's got too much of a kink in it, it's gonna be stiff to operate. You want it to have as smooth and straight a path as physically possible. Anyway, that one's quite obvious. Let's whip it out. Right, out with the old. And in with the new. With this one, we've chosen a genuine Triumph OEM cable. The reason I'm doing that is because this bike's worth it. It's Penny's Triumph and long-term, you might as well put the money in, but you can get cables, as I said, from as little as £8.50 from somewhere like Wimoto, but this is a genuine one. Now, 
coming close, take off this little rubber seal at the end, just lift it out of the way. As you can see there, there's quite a lot of room around that steel cable to pop some oil. Now, the simplest way is to just pop your little oil can in the top. And as you can see, if you come in real close, put your oil on it and it just sinks its way in. Now this is the long winded way, but look how that goes in there. Just wanted to show you it like that. You can see that oil just sinks down inside every time. And as you put this little drop of oil in the top each time, just work it down in. Don't overdo it. Don't fill it right up to the top till it's draining out the bottom of the cable. You might have to do that if you're using a penetrating oil to clean out an old cable, but this is a brand new cable. Inside there is nothing but space. And all you want to do is coat the inner cable with a thin layer of oil all the way through. On a clutch cable, it will gunge up if it's too full. And also, if you put it on the bike and you filled it up with oil, it'll all pour out the end of the cable down your primary case. It's far better to put a little bit in and work it in and out for a few minutes so you coat the inside of the cable just enough and it will stay nice and slick throughout its life and it won't rust. Let's put it on. Right, okay, now to adjust your cable once it's fitted, you've got two methods of adjustment, one at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, with the finger adjuster, the purpose of that is to give us a hand-operated adjustment to the clutch free play while we're out on the road. And we might need this if the bike gets really hot in traffic and the clutch is in and out like a yo-yo. Eventually, as the cable gets hotter, it expands and you get too much free play at the clutch. And that gives you the ability to adjust it on the fly. But we don't want it all the way in. It's best to have about three or four turns out from the base like that, just enough so that the thread is nicely engaged and you've still got loads of adjustment available. Then bring the lock wheel in against the clamp and you can lock it off. And another little tip, this open slot here, if you can, set that slot at the back, quite obviously because then the weather's not gonna to get to the cable. If the slot's at the front, then the weather and the water is going to get in there and cause rust and problems. If it's at the back, it's less likely. So set it there, lock it off. And then if you ever need it in the future on the road, it's available to you with lots of free adjustment. Now we can set the actual adjustment for the cable down at the primary case. And with the main adjuster here, this is the same thing. Bring it out. And that adjust the nut in. Set it to that point and just feel the clutch. Feel where it feels comfortable. Not quite, a little bit more. And there we are. You need some free play. Allow the clutch adjuster that's then a rod down into the clutch. Allow that some free movement. Make sure that it's not under load at all times and pulling. That doesn't want to happen. It needs to be free to relax. So the clutch inside is fully engaged and there's no pull on it to cause it to slip. The cable must let it go completely, and it must be completely slack, just like a throttle cable. That's perfect, just there. And all we do is lock off these little adjuster nuts. There we are. Job done.
Right, now I apologize to those of you who know how to do this kind of thing. I'm sorry to teach you how to suck eggs, but honestly guys, those of you who do know how to do this, we can reach out to those who don't. And there's young riders coming into the motorcycle fraternity every single year, and they haven't got a clue. They don't know how to do this, and the costs to them from dealers are unachievable because they are working on a minimum wage. We do get a lot of contact from young riders with scooters and all sorts of things, and this kind of really basic stuff, it helps. So I hope this video has helped you out. Straight, simple replacer cable. You've done that job for potentially under 10 pounds. If you go to the dealer, it could have been over 100 pounds. That's quite a disparity between the two, so it's jolly well worth it. So there we are. I hope that helped you. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Ride safe, and I'll see you next time.